Hey CNCers, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook. Today I want to talk about what it's like to work on feeds and speeds with a big tooling company. The short answer is you learn a lot. Yeah, my mind was blown a bit by it. I am just wrapping up a consulting gig with one of the premium tooling companies. I can't tell you their name, that's just how it works when consulting. They're not the first ones I've worked with and they won't be the last. This company came in because they'd been playing with our G-Wizard calculator and saw that it recommended more aggressive feeds and speeds than they were used to. That's very interesting to a company like this because CNCers pay for premium tooling so they can make more aggressive cuts. That's the advantage that justifies the higher cost of the premium tool. And 50% longer tool life, not to mention saving time calculating feeds and speeds. The thing is, if you're just working with simple charts like what you find in a tooling catalog, and maybe you've got a little Excel spreadsheet cooked up, you just can't consider all the many variables that G-Wizard considers when it's calculating feeds and speeds. It looks at over 60 different variables. So between that and the sophisticated algorithms it's got, it's been in continuous development for 10 years, refined with the input of tens of thousands of customers. Again, it's not surprising if it's giving faster results. The big company did, however, wonder exactly how it was that G-Wizard was coming up with its recommendations. And they were also, to be honest, just a little bit skeptical that maybe it was too aggressive and that these cuts really wouldn't work in practice. So we wound up doing an intensive testing program to see what the results would be on a couple of Haas VMCs they had in their lab. We went through all sorts of tough materials such as Inconel, a variety of stainless steels, titanium, hardened steels, plus testing in aluminum. And boy, did we put G-Wizard through the ringer. I mean, we were running regular tool paths, HSM tool paths, trying different cut widths and depths, really trying to put it through its paces. In the end, they wound up accepting G-Wizard's numbers almost as is. The materials cut well, and the proof is in the pudding because they're going to wind up increasing the recommendations in their catalog going forward, which is very good for their business. They also found uh, a couple of areas where G-Wizard was a tad overly aggressive. For example, it was running a little bit too much chip load on end mills with more than four flutes. The more flutes you have, the less space there is between the flutes and chips, if they build up too much in there, will cause that end mill to break. So we took all that and added it to G-Wizard to improve it still further. Um, the algorithms are now even better after all that testing and feedback uh, from this tooling company. And it's really been great to be able to pick the brains of these folks. I mean, after all, people that design the tools, they are the experts in the first place. And seeing how they think about these things is really helpful. During all of this testing, they were using G-Wizard constantly, and they gave me an absolute gold mine of usability feedback, as well as a much greater understanding of how they and their customers are thinking about feeds and speeds. As you can imagine, I was taking notes frantically and updating the software the whole way. In fact, I just uploaded a new release of G-Wizard, the first one so far this year. Normally, I am doing releases much more often than that, but as I say, I was really busy with this consulting gig. It was worth it. This new release has a bunch of changes, so I'm calling it a beta test until we've collected enough feedback to know that all is well. What that means is when you click through to the download page, and I'll put a link on this, on this uh, video post, uh, there will be two buttons on that page. By default, you'll get our prior release. 
you have to specifically select the lower button, the second button, to get this new beta release. But if you do, you will find all sorts of changes that make the product much more usable and powerful for feeds and speeds. Um, and I'm also going to put a link that shows you where to go see the change log and see exactly what's changed. So help me out here. Check out that beta release. Let me know what you think about the changes we've come up with for this thing. I think they're really excellent, and I'm really excited about them. Uh, but let me know what you think, because that's really what's important in the end of the day. All right. Check your next video.